Hey, what's up everybody? I am Vulverizer with Devastation.com and today I want to go over the things that I wish someone had told me when I was fresh meat. I've heard it said over and over and over again, derby does not get you in shape you get in shape for roller derby. And that's completely true, y'all. You can look at a team of players and you can see who does the work off skates as well as on skates. Derby isn't just practices a few times a week. You have to go to the gym. You have to put the time in, in your sneakers, off skates, doing weightlifting, cardio, agility, all of that, because it's just gonna make you a better skater and a better teammate. And it also gets your body ready for what you're about to put it through. And like I said, derby hurts. So if you start working up your muscles now, it's going to be so much of an easier transition. We all know that roller derby is a full contact sport, so when someone hits you, it's obviously going to hurt. But what we don't realize is skating in circles, constantly turning left, does more to your body than you think it will. Everything is going to hurt, not just when other people touch you. Your back's gonna hurt, your legs are gonna hurt, your neck might start hurting, your feet are gonna hurt, you might lose toenails, you might like get really bad bunions and stuff like that. And that's not even without, that's like with no one touching you. It just happens, that's the nature of this sport. So just keep in mind that you're gonna hurt but it, just stick with it and it, you, you won't hurt eventually. Like my back still hurts after two years, but it's getting better and that's all that matters. You should never, ever, ever benchmark your progress upon the progress of someone else. It sucks. I went through this. It absolutely sucks to see someone progressing faster than you, especially at like the super basic levels because you know, you feel like you're inadequate, like you're never gonna get it. Uh, maybe you aren't cut out for a derby, but I promise you, you are. I, it's just a thing where you cannot base your own image of your progress upon someone else because you don't know that person's athletic background. Maybe that person was a champion speed skater when they were teenagers. Maybe that person was a rink rat and has skated their entire lives. Maybe that person is just really great at catching on to things and is just super athletically inclined. And maybe you are not. And that's totally fine because the beauty about roller derby is like, as long as you put the time and the effort into the sport, you can play it and you can excel at it. And everyone needs different rates to learn things. And just because it might be taking you a little bit more time to learn something doesn't mean you're not gonna get it. You just have to put that time in on skates, on the track, or off skates, off the track, and also in your mind. Keep talking yourself up. I promise you, boo-boo, you are going to get it. One of the best pieces of advice that I can give, and I actually was told this as a fresh meet by a very good friend, is no one's going to do this for you. You have to do it yourself. No one is going to go and skate your 27 and 5 for you. No one is going to do a bunch of drills and learn some new skills and then write you a check for them. You have to do it. You have to put in the time. You have to go to practice. And I know practice is hard sometimes, especially when you're just learning. It's very frustrating. But, you know, if you need to step off the track for a few minutes and get yourself together, just go back out on that track when you're done and give it 100%. Because when you're giving it 100%, you are giving yourself the opportunity to improve and push yourself. And it's so rewarding to finally get a skill and know that you did it. You did this yourself. You gave it 100%. And now look how much better you've gotten because of it. All right, so I realized that this advice is kind of dark and it only discusses like the difficulty of roller derby, but I feel like a lot of people go see games or they're familiar with teams and they see how much fun it can be and they see like how all the teams are families and they go to the after parties and they don't realize that roller derby is one of the most difficult things you will ever do in your life, if not the most difficult thing you'll do. It requires so much work and you just have to dedicate your soul and all of your free time, sometimes you're not free time, to do this amazing sport, but it's totally worth it. You get all the work you put into it back. And if you're having a tough time in fresh meat, I promise you it's going to get better. Keep putting in that time. I believe in you. Devastation.com believes in you. And you've got this. <laughs>